Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is that entitlement is all about and why it is important for FSL to, to work upon? So, layman language entitlements are nothing but it will have all the information and it letting know the service agents that what this particular customer is entitled for support right so for an example uh, let's say when you are going and buying an AC machine right so in that you will hear that okay you will give, get a one year free service right and then they will say that okay a five year warranty on the body parts 15 year warranty on the compressor like that they will explain you right to sell their products so basically what they are telling you that if you buy this product you will be entitled to get these services free of cost or if you even if you are getting uh, with a minimal charge something like that right so those things in in an industry how I mean let's say company is promising something to you as a customer how the the service agent will know about it right like okay you are entitled to get free uh, parts till five, till five years for an example you are entitled to get uh, uh, free services till one year or two years so all those informations are there in the entitlements and these entitlements are basically um, tightly coupled with the service contracts okay now in in B2B world, remember I told you guys, right, that in B2B world and B2C worlds, the business are entirely different. B2B is the world where one company is interacting with another company. So one company is selling their goods to the another company, right? Here the end customers are nothing but the company. So for every order and transactions, right, they have their different terms and conditions, the legals, uh, and that is where they have a different, different contracts. Uh, but in B2C, mostly, behind the scene they have the service contracts but it's a very um, fixed format right so typically when you go and trying buying an AC freeze washing machine or anything like that right there you maybe you can negotiate to some extent to the pricing part but uh, those terms and conditions or the entitlements what they are offering from the company to company is pretty much fixed right there uh, there you can't negotiate much but having said all those things, uh, if I will come to back to the service cloud, so these all informations are basically captured at an entitlement level. Entitlement level also, uh, uh, you know, covers the what business hours it's going to cover. For an example, is it 24 cross 7 you will get the support or you will just get, uh, let's say the business hours defined as 9 to 6 or 10 to 7 what is all about it right so and remember based on all those things later in FSL we will see uh, when we'll start the FSL right where we will see that how service resource assignments are going to happen based on the entitlements as well as uh, the business hours and all okay so this is on a high level that entitlement uh, uh, contains so what service clouds basically you know offers you in terms of entitlements right and then when we will go and see FSL there we will see what is the overlap with FSL okay so first of all when you are doing the project as I said of course service cloud is the mandatory part for FSL to run so first of all what you have to go and do is that uh, remember for service setup you what you have to do you have to go here and click service setup that is how you will land it to the service cloud setup okay now here uh, first of first and foremost thing what you have to do is you have to go and enable the entitlement management okay so all you have to do is just go type uh, and under the entitlement management there is something called entitlement settings okay and all you have to go there and you have to enable this at the org level remember this okay so 
you see in the developer or you will see most of these types of settings are enabled by default but in your project it not might be the case so in order to utilize the entitlement uh, you know the the features you have to first come and check this checkbox called entitlement management this must be true now when you go and do that you will figure it out there are bunch of things basically you know milestone we will come later but from even the entitlement there are bunch of uh, you know options are given to you that uh, uh, while enabling it uh, uh, what you want to do right so basically I will come to that right when we will go to the entitlement record there you will see and you will get a better idea but again coming back to the business use case typically when I am talking about let's say AC I am talking about washing machine I am just giving you all the you know examples in our day-to-day -day life right so what are those suppose you go uh, to a shop right and you finally negotiate you understand all terms and conditions what you will entitle to and let's say finally you brought that about that uh, fridge and you 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 know then that fridge delivered to your location now that freeze is that now asset for you correct you are the proprietor and owner of the fridge now whatever you want to do with that fridge you are free to do company is not really uh, bothered about it right so in this case if I will translate the whole uh, you know business schema in Salesforce so you as an individual is nothing but here in Salesforce is an account record right which is nothing but the customer okay secondly here your freeze or AC or washing machine whatever you have purchased from the distributor or retailer those are nothing but the assets which are basically tagged under the account right because how the company will maintain the database of course they will first have that account and contact against your name and and uh, your information right and under that account they will attach all the uh, uh, parts and all the goods that you have purchased as an asset so remember what these filters are doing basically so this is nothing but a lookup filter guys okay uh, it's and let me put it very simple format so on case we have a lookup of entitlement okay so these settings will control that as a service agent when I will click that lookup on the case what type of entitlement I should see on the case now if I will not enable any one of this uh, uh, <coughs> the lookup filter what will what is start happening is it will start showing me all the entitlements whatever I have in my org now it, there will be a problem right suppose on the case you have raised a case let's say when you bought that AC or phrase you have given some extra cost to get the premium service for an example right that you will okay you will get 24 cross 7 support so for an example because you have paid and you have purchased that premium and in your day-to-day -day life you guys have noticed right the company is saying that hey you have to you know pay some extra fee then you will get the premium uh, service and all and all so definitely behind the scene they will create a different enti entitlement for you and attach under the account but when the case when you let's say you have a problem you raise uh, you just call the, the service guy service guy just pick up the phone collect all the information now in the case when when he has to attach one entitlement so that the technicians and everybody will know that what you are entitled to suppose in that case he attached the wrong entitlement because there was no filter when he clicked that lookup field on the case he can see all the entitlements and then simply he attached it one of it and in let's say by mistake he attached that entitlement which is let's say just covering two hours or three hours of support what will happen nobody will respond to your case right because it's a you know only in 24 hours you will just entitle for two or three hours only then you will be panic you will start calling the person that what the hell is happening right because when company when you bought that product it was 24 cross 7 so it is all happened because there was no filter there and sales reps attached or, or service guy attached the wrong uh, entitlement against the case 
so that is the reason at the setting level itself salesforce service cloud has given you that what type of entitlement you want to see it at the case level suppose the first setting says same account on the case which means that you are the customer you raise the case so on the account lookup of on the case record your your data is there so only show me all the entitlements which belongs to that account likewise so same contact on the case i mean if that person if that within the account right it may happen that there are multiple contacts and this is mostly as i said for the b2b companies right like one company can have multiple employees right or let's say there is a employee label different different slas and different different entitlement so i want to filter it at the contact level right likewise i want to only filter an active entitlement on the case accounts and active entitlement so this will be simply giving you all uh, entitlements even though those entitlements are not active okay but this will just filter and give you only the active entitlements on the case accounts so this is all and uh, now these settings only i will talk later about the versioning because once you enable this versioning you cannot disable it um even if you can disable the whole entitlement management but versioning will not go anyway right that is why you are seeing here one a kind of warning message we will come to that later when we'll talk about the use case so this will uh, this will uh, uh, this will return all the assets related to that and this will return all the entitlements related to that so these these check boxes will only controlling what type of entitlement i should see on the case right while i applying the this lookup filters okay so this is the very first step that you can do i mean this you can change at any point of time as per your business requirements you want to say no i want to see this record that record by the way this is not mandatory if you say no i want to see all the entitlements let's not go and activate it okay thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today